Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick video on Simon Gubadia and Portia Williams. You know, they're still going through their tumultuous divorce. And if I was Portia, I'm going to be very honest with you because Portia, you know, she has her own stuff. She got a lot going on for her. She got her go naked hair. She has her sheets. She has, you know, the show, Roa. Um, she's making her own money. I would just cut ties with Simon, let it go and move on with life because he is determined, determined to drag her for filth in these streets. So now he's accusing her of, you know, never really loving him and, you know, having affairs with anybody and everybody, I guess, during their short lived marriage. We're going to go ahead and get right into the story. So Roa star Portia Williams ex asks if she ever loved him. Explain the nature of relationship with rapper Future as divorce war heats up. This is messy. So Simon Gubadia ordered Portia Williams to disclose the nature of her relationship with several men, including rapper Future, as the former couple continues to battle in court over the validity of their prenuptial agreement. So the thing is, are these things really true? Or is he saying these things because he was the one that signed this prenup saying that he was going to give Portia a good sum of money and the, um, you know, if their um, relationship ever broke up and now he's mad, he's feeling used, he's feeling abused and he, he, he wants revenge. So Radar Online obtained a new legal document filed by Simon 60, requesting a laundry list of information from Portia 43 involving her financial situation, as well as the intimate details of their marriage. In his filing on Friday, the Nigerian entrepreneur asked the Real Housewife Atlanta Star to either admit or deny that she married him for his money and that she cheated during the marriage. He also requested that she admit the prenup was allegedly unfair and that Portia fortunately induced Simon into signing the document. So you know what's so crazy to me? Now, either on both sides, I heard so many people say, you know what? I signed this prenup under duress. Don't get married. There's a, a real housewife. I want to say she she did a stint on the Real Housewives of New York. She's in the real estate. She uh, made a lot of money on her own. She did very well for herself. And she was about to get married. Her soon-to-be husband did not want to sign the prenup. And you know what she said? Okay, no prenup, no marriage. And she said they split up. She said things are friendly, um, but she said she was not about to risk everything that she built up because she's, I think she's in her 50s. She said she was not about to risk everything she built up for her, her family, and her kids. So if he didn't want to sign a prenup, it was going to be no marriage. And he said no, and she said okay. And so, Simon, you're a grown man. If there's a prenup and you think that it's not, you know, favorable or it's not equal, then you don't sign it. Don't come later talking about you was forced to sign it by little old Portia. Now, don't even do that to Portia. I ain't even going to accept that from you. Admit that you have been sexually intimate with another person besides your husband during a marriage, one allegation stated, while another read, admit that you never loved your husband. Good gosh. He also demanded that she disclose the nature of her relationship with five men, and not five, with Kevin, whoever this um, Kelvin is, I'm sorry, um, her, her baby daddy, Dennis, whoever this Jonathan is, Main Lee, and this other person, I don't even want to butcher their name, okay? No, oh, Future, that's Future's name, good, good gosh almighty, and inside of Told in Touch, she does not know Future, but okay, but he named five men, you still, so all you got is you don't know Future, and March, or as in March, as RadioOnline.com reported, Simon told Portia not to delete evidence, including text messages she had apparently exchanged with Future. Uh, uh. Simon's latest filing also asked Portia to answer the question, what was your understanding of the reasons why your husband paid you a five-figure monthly allowance during the marriage? The Bravo star has 30 days to answer Simon's list of 26 questions, 
and either admit to or deny his 41 allegation. She um, 41 allegations. She will also need to hand over financial statements dating back to January 2022, as well as documents related to her employment during that time, and evidence like video and audio of their marital home dating back to February of this year. The pair tied the knot in November 2022, but this past February, Portia filed for divorce and cited that they were that the that they were irretrievably broken marriage as the reason for the split, adding that there are no prospects for reconciliation. Since then, they've been at odds over the prenup as well as the multi-million dollar home they shared. Simon argued that he bought the mansion before they got married and that Portia has her own $1.8 million house nearby that she can live in. But I did hear that her mother lives in that home now. Now, I don't think she should kick her mother out, but what I think is she just needs to go buy herself another home. I, I would just let this thing go with Simon rather than spend all this money with the lawyers and, and just fighting with him and him throwing, you know, even if it's not my business, once you put something out there about somebody, you know, it's hard to take it back. He also said her lucrative deal with NBC Universal Entertainment, which she signed just days before filing for divorce, hardly left her in a dire financial straits. And you know what? I, I do get what he's saying on that note. Listen, I'm for uh, uh, following the prenup. And for me, that's a point blank in a period. But I'm also for every situation, you got to evaluate that situation for what it is. And I think in this particular situation with Simon and Portia, um, Portia, she has the money. This wasn't a five-year or 10-year or 15-year marriage. This was under two years. Let him have what he has. You take what you have. I mean, sell the marital home or buy you out of the marital home. I don't know what really to do with that, but I would get out. I really wouldn't want a mansion that was my marital home with my ex. I don't know. To me, I would just let it go. I would let it go. I would start a new move on. And Portia is still, she's young and she's gorgeous, right? Um, and she's not going to have problem finding another man or even if she wants another husband, she's not going to have a problem getting that. Uh, again, every time I do a Portia and Simon Gubadia story, um, my whole thing to Portia is just let it go and move on. This is not, sometimes, you know, people feel like, well, it's not right. It's not right. She deserves this. Yeah, sometimes there's a lot you may deserve, but if you let that thing go, God will probably give you more than you even lost. Like, I would just let it go. That's my personal opinion. But listen, guys, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.